What's going on guys, Talon Flame HD here and welcome back to the next episode of the FIFA 17 Sunderland career mode. In the last episode we, let's have a look at our notes here, uh, we won 3-0 against Mons, Defoe and Inichib uh, on the score sheet, Inichib getting two goals there. Uh, we won 4-0 against Celta Vigo, uh, Fabio Barini and Joel Osoro getting two goals there as well. Uh, we went in for Danny Welbeck, we submitted a 10 or 11 million pound bid. Uh, Arsenal came back and said they wanted 25, not going to happen. And Liverpool want 10 million for Alberto Moreno, we offered 8.75 million instead. So hopefully in this episode we may actually have a signing. Uh, going back to the comments on the last episode, um, Rotexito suggested Marcus Rashford, the 18 year old striker from Manchester United, valued around 7.5 to 8 million pounds. Um, we're going to go in for Rashford in just a moment, but I'd also like to talk to you about Felipe Anderson, the 23 year old right wing from Lazio in the what was the Serie A, um, valued around 15 million pounds. He can play uh, left wing, cam, and right wing as well as strike I think it is so he's got like four positions that he's really good at um, I'm thinking of bringing in Felipe Anderson as a left mid so I can move Barini up front into the second team uh, in in the second team sorry so let's go have a look at Marcus Rashford and let's see what we can do with him so here we have Marcus Rashford guys and as you can see he is 18 he is six foot two he is a striker from Manchester United he's valued around 7.5 million uh, to 8 million um, to be perfectly honest, Marcus Rashford does turn into a 90 rated striker, so I'm kind of looking for a striker with decent stamina that's around 70, 75 plus. Um, Marcus Rashford definitely fits that bill. He's got pace, he's got the finishing, he's got the ball control and dribbling as well. So he, he actually is a really good striker to purchase. To be perfectly honest, um, I'm going to actually approach Manchester United to buy Rashford. Uh, he's probably going to go for some about 9.6 to 11 so I'm going to put a cheeky little 8 million pound bid in and we're going to see if Manchester United bite on that one as for Felipe Anderson who is this right mid here the 23 year old uh, we're going to put a cheeky little bid in there he's valued around 15 so if we go for about 13 and see if Lazio bite Hopefully, we'll have a few more signings in this episode. And here we are, guys. This is the final of the European International Cup. The It is being played at the Santiago Bernabeu, the home of Real Madrid. Uh, again, world class. And we're going to go with the first team of Pickford, Van Aanholt, Gilles Bodjikone and Manquillo. Kazri, Kirchhoff, Katamol, Yanazai, Defoe and Nietzsche Let's get into the game and let's see if we can win. All right, kick off. Let's go for it. Making his debut today. What do you make? Composure. Good tackle, Yanazai. Keeps it in. Switches the play. Fan on. Whoa! What was that touch? Doesn't matter. It falls to Jermaine Defoe, who gives it back to Wabi Kazri. He gives it to Nietzsche B. He gives it to Katamol. Katamol drops his shoulder. Gives it to Yanazai. Yanazai. Oh my fucking god. I can't actually believe that just happened. Like, we could have actually scored in the first, like, in the very first attack. Like, I'm very surprised that didn't actually go in from, from Yanazai. It falls to Kirchhoff, who sets the four way. The four were a big touch. Do you mean the four? I had to go, I had to go for the cheeky try, I had to go for the try and try the cheeky finish. Uh, the far post with the, with the dink. Didn't come off, so still no no. Um, I'm going to send this up to Patrick Van An. What the absolute fuck are you doing, Gilabodji? You stupid twit. Good tackle, Kirchhoff. Get your cross in. And each of in the middle. To be perfectly honest, you had so much time there in each of You could have actually scored that. Van Anhold into Kirchhoff into Kazri. Ka That's a good spot by the defender. Kazri, like the, I, the guys, I need you to suggest me a left mid. I need to get rid of Wabi Kazri. So fucking bad. 
or maybe a right mid so I can move Yanazai out on the left. I don't know. But I really need Wabi Kazri to fucking leave this club. He's pissing me off. Shula Baji wins that. But he kind of fight, he kind of, he just kind of passed to a single fucking teammate. And then Van Anholt loses that. Is this, is this game taking the piss? Right, get running, Victor. I need someone to fucking run. Defoe. 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 Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Oh, I can always rely on Jermaine Defoe to get a fucking goal. You fucking sexy bastard. Like, I was waiting for someone to run. I was actually waiting for someone to run. But no one would run. And then Defoe just suddenly pops up. Like, I fucking love him. I fucking love Defoe. I'm holding on to him for as long as I can. Fucking 1 0, right before half time. Like, get in. And that is half time. Like, no, this game has been fucking terrible. Like, most of the first half has actually been me complaining about Wabi Kazri and a few of the passes going astray. But, to be perfectly honest, like, 1 0 up against Zenit in the final. Like, I'm happy, don't get me wrong, we're keeping Zenit at bay, but we're just not playing as well as I know we can. So let's get into the second half and let's see what we can do. And the substitution, guys, is uh, Wabi Kazri off, Fabio Barini on. As per usual, straight swap, left mid for left mid. Um, let's get into the second half and let's see if we can grab a second goal. My queer with a cross. You made the four. And that is full time. And we've won the European International Cup. So that is quite a few million in the bank. Um, the goal coming from Jermaine Defoe in the first half. And we, the players actually look surprised that we've actually managed to, to win something. And we did get £3.4 million, guys, for winning the European International Cup. So that brings your total up to about £40 million for me to spend. Um, again, get the suggestions down in the comment section down below. Um, I will be looking at my own players as well as players that you recommend. So please, again, so much. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely look at them. And Liverpool have accepted our bid for Alberto Moreno, 8.75 million. Um, so we are going to go into the wages. He wants 70 grand. We're going to give him the 70 grand and a five-year contract. Um, we'll give him squad rotation because that's what it is literally going to be. He's going to be swapping in and out the team. Um, so there we go on that front. So Moreno could be looking as if he's coming to Sunderland. And we've had our offer for Felipe Anderson rejected, guys. It's a, it's the next day um, after the bid for Alberto Moreno had came back and was accepted. Uh, we've reviewed your transfer offer for Felipe Anderson and we have decided to reject it because the sum is too low and we believe he is worth more than that. We have set a £27.5 million price tag for Felipe Anderson, so if you increase your offer, we will take it into consideration. Let me know in the comments section down below if you want me to do that. At the moment, I'll leave it. Um, bear in mind, offers like this only stay active for about six or seven days game time. So let me know in the comments section down below if you want me to actually pursue Felipe Anderson. Um, I still think £27.5 million for a player that's still in development um, is a bit high. But if you do want me to go for him, I will go for him and I will try as best as I can to get him. In the meantime, Marcus Rashford has been accepted. Um, Manchester United have accepted an £8 million bid for Marcus Rashford. And to be perfectly honest, I'm honestly surprised United have let him go for this cheap. So we're going to give him, he won 60 grand. That's fine by me. And we'll give him a five year squad rotation. And we'll see if he, uh, Rashford accepts that. John Armstrong has also accepted his contract. Beautiful. So, we'll see what happens. And Alberto Moreno, guys, has turned around and said he wants a bigger role in the club. Uh, thank you for your interest, but please revise your offer. My agent will t and I will take it into consideration. So, it looks like Moreno doesn't want to come to Sunderland at the moment. 
Um, if I give him exactly what he wants, give him, say, 70... I'll tell you what, I'll give him 75 and 3 years at squad rotation, and we'll see what happens with that one, because if you when you increase the money, um, obviously players do tend to bite a bit more. Marcus Rashford has also turned down his contract, so... Okay, we'll give you 60 for 4 years at important first team player because he is actually going to play a lot of games for us I'm not going to lie um, so that is that scout, scout report for Serge Nabry we'll have a look at that later transfer offer for Vito Minone uh, 8, mi ooh, 8 million I could actually do quite a lot with 8 million I'm going to stall on that one guys, um, let me know in the comments section down below if you want me to accept that and I will go ahead and accept that, I will definitely accept that if you want me to. And Moreno is still not budging guys, I've, ac like, I've increased his wages, he doesn't want an increase in wages, um, so if we go for 70 grand, give him the 5 years at important first team player. Hopefully he bites and we can get him in the team. And Rashford guys has accepted his contract offer. We now have a legitimate striker. That was not a Joe Weller impression. But <laughs> we do have Marcus Rashford now in the club. We have 42 million left to spend. Um, as I think I just saw on the screen. Let's have a go over to office. We have 42 million left to spend. So I'm more than happy with that. Let's get Rashford into the squad. So if we go over to rotation and we go to Joe Osoro and we go down to Rashford. Boom! Rashford is up top with John Armstrong. We're going to save the changes and that is that. And finally guys, Moreno has accepted a five year contract at 70,000 at important first team player. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. That brings us... Oh. Never mind. If we accept that, we can't do the wages. So what I'm going to do is, if I quickly go to budget allocation... Um, budget and increase the wages to 200 grand... An advance we'll go back to inbox go back to Moreno and accept that it gives us we've taken our transfer budget down to 25 million but we can accept um, Alberto Moreno into the team so we're going to go ahead and do that now um, that leaves us with 130,000 I was going to say million there <laughs> 130,000 uh, wage budget as well um, unfortunately so I do need to sell some players so I'm going to have a look at the players that we can sell and see if I can get rid of some so these are the players guys uh, in the squad and I'm just going to have a look through them now um, so Coates and Lens are both loaned out Manone Pina I don't really need Steven Pina I could release him from his contract to be honest I just don't need him I just don't need Stephen Pienaar. Excuse me there, guys. Um, the Corne, Van Anholt, Barini, Rodwell, Sebastian, I don't need Larson either. I'll add him to the transfer list. Uh, we've just got Man we've got Rashford and Moreno here, guys. Didier in Dong, John O'Shea, Billy Jones, Jason Denier. Mika is another player that I don't really need. Um... Adam Matthews has loaned out Thomas Robson, Buckley, Donald Love can go out on a one-year loan. Joel Osorio can now go out on a one-year loan. Uh, Lyndon Gooch can go on a short loan just in case I pick up an injury during the season. Josh Meyer can go out on a one-year loan as well. Um, I'll keep a hold of... Nah, actually, you can go on a one-year loan as well. So, all them players can go on a one-year loan, as I've just mentioned. 
and um, well, who's retiring at the end of his contract? John O'Shea, how long do you have left on your contract? 12 months. So John O'Shea is going to be retiring at the end of the season, looks like it. That's fucking fine by me. He's 35, he will be turning 36 this season. And to be perfectly honest, John O'Shea can just fuck off. Like, <laughs> I don't mean that in a rude way. I just, I just don't. <laughs> but I just don't need him. Uh, transfer listed. Let's have a quick look at the status of players. Transfer listed. We only have one player transfer list, and that is uh, Sebastian Larson. I can't list. Um, I can't list Man, uh, Stephen Pina, obviously, because he's just recently joined the club. I really want to get rid of him. Though. He's never going to get played. I'm never going to use him. So let me know what you want me to do on that front. Um, if you want me to terminate his contract, I'll just terminate his contract. I don't really need him. He is surplus to demands. Um, again, I'm looking to cash in on on Wabi Kazri if I can. He's got 47 grand's worth of wages. He's worth 17 and a half million pounds. So we could get at least 20 to 25 for him, if not more. Um, so again, let me know if you want me to sell him. I, I'm more than happy to, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we can bring a cheap right mid in, a young right mid, and move Yanisai across from the right mid to the left mid in the first team. And another transfer offer for Vito Manone, guys. £7 million from Everton. We're going to reject... Or do I stall? No, I'll stall on that. I'll leave that stalled. Uh, again, comment section down below. Let me know if you want me to uh, sell Manone as well as Kazri. And as I've just remembered, guys, um, we need to actually put Moreno into the team. So Alberto Moreno slips in at left back in the rotation team. We'll go ahead and save that um, that squad sheet. We'll also quickly jump across to the first team squad sheet and put Moreno on the bench as I always have both fullbacks on the bench. I didn't actually mean to select Van Anhalt there. Select Pino, get rid of Pino and bring Moreno in. Rashford for Soros, switch those two around. Bob is your own goal and Kebim sorted. And we have a transfer offer for Sebastian Larson, and we've just literally listed him up. So we're going to take a look at that now. We 2.6 million from Southampton. <coughs> Do apologise for that, guys. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. It does give us approximately thirty-five thousand uh, pounds more wages. That's 2.6 into the kitty against all on Manone. Because I'm going to need a keeper for my second team. And we have a transfer offer now for Joel Osora, guys. Uh, Shrewsbury, one year loan. We'll just go ahead and accept that. Sorry, Joel, but we don't need you at the moment. Um, so, yeah, and as you saw there as well, I'll quickly go back into it. Sebastian Larson has been sold to Southampton for £2.6 million. And the board has allocated only one8 of it to our transfer budget. Transfer offer for Donald Love. Um, Rotherham United, one year loan. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully he grows quite a bit in this year and he can slip in when he's needed. And this is it, guys. This is the first game of the Premier League season. Um, I'm going to save this for the next episode. Um, so this episode has literally just been transfers and the, game, and the final of the European National Cup. So thank you so very much for watching. Um, like I say, I'm still looking for a left mid, and let me know what you want me to do about Vado Manone and Wabi Kazri. Um, drop your suggestions in the comment section down below, and your um, opinions on what I've asked for. So again, thank you so very much for watching. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like the video and want to see some more, drop a thumbs up as well, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys later.